In our morning rounds, a groundbreaking look at how pregnancy can change a woman's brain. Researchers performed MRI scans before and after a first pregnancy. They found changes in the size and structure of some areas of the brain. Those areas deal with perceiving the feelings of other people. The changes were still visible two years later. Our Dr. Tara Narula is here. Good morning. Good morning, Nora. Okay, this is so fascinating. So yeah. what did the study find? Such an amazing study that tells us that pregnancy may be priming us for motherhood. They took 25 first-time moms and they scanned their brains before pregnancy and after pregnancy. They also did this with men, fathers, and non-pregnant women. They found that those women who had been pregnant did in fact have changes in the architecture of their brain in specific areas of the gray matter or cortex, not in a random pattern, but in the areas that control social processing, meaning our ability to understand what other people may be feeling, thinking, what their intentions are. They did see these changes persist out to two years and they did not see these changes in the men or the fathers. So this makes kind of evolutionary sense, right? We think that it may be evolutionarily adaptive. So it's basically helping a mom, honing her intuition, helping her figure out the unmet needs of her child, to read her child's mental state, to feel out potential threats that her child might be facing, mm. and to improve that bonding or attachment. Interestingly, they also did MRI scans, functional MRIs, of the women as they were looking at pictures of babies, pictures of their own babies and other babies. <laughs> and they found that those areas that lit up the strongest in response to their own baby were those same areas of volume loss in the brain. What happened to the father's brain? <laughs> Any brain? Question. Oh, Nothing. I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing, sadly, but nothing. They just shut down. Flat line. <laughs> okay, you hear so many, so many moms talk about mommy brain or right. pregnancy brain, and that's because they say, oh, I forgot this. You know, I'm just overwhelmed by things. Is that a real thing? I don't think we really know. There's some okay. studies that have suggested that. In this study, they did do cognitive and memory tests before and after pregnancy and found no difference. They did not test during pregnancy, so it's really hard to draw any conclusions from that. But what the fascinating thing about this is, is it tells us that the brain is plastic, that there is something called synaptic pruning that's going on. We mm. see this at mm. other times. We see this in early childhood and adolescence. It's how the brain learns. So essentially, it takes all the non-essential wiring or connections and weeds them out and really strengthens those very important critical connections. So they compared this to the adolescent years, and this is, the, this is what they mean. And the idea is that maybe some of these sex hormones, the estrogen, progesterone, these surges are, are helping the brain become reshaped. In this and we way. don't think this is complicated by stress or sleep deprivation or do we not know? We don't really know. So the theory is that it's related to hormones, but certainly there are other factors that play in during pregnancy, dietary factors, lack of sleep, stress. And also the scans they did after birth were a couple months after birth. Mm. So there is a window of time there that could also have affected the brain and caused some of these changes, but they did not see the changes in the men. <laughs> what are the, yeah. lo the long-range implications of this, do you think? So the researchers say that this really opens up the door to further investigation. This is really kind of a first-of-a-kind study. And and the thinking is that maybe we can use imaging like this to help predict which women might be at risk for postpartum depression, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is obviously very important yeah. uh, if we can find a way to help women who suffer from that. Really interesting. Thank you. I'm glad the men did so well in this. Study. Yeah, right. <laughs> maybe Thanks your brain much. would be different. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, I maybe think not. not. <laughs>